There's probably about 12 pieces right up in there. See all that dirt up in there? That might have been from this damn mirror. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. Right, all right, boy Trigger Man back in the lab. And today, what we have here. What we got here, man, doing the bends, rear bumper, and the spoiler. Rear bumper, rear bumper, spoiler, and then we're also gonna do the front door on it. But today, man, the video gonna be a little bit different, a tad bit different. What we're gonna do today, I've been getting a lot, a lot of messages, man, even from the beginning, from when I started the channel five months ago, I was getting a lot of messages from guys that do this stuff from home, um, saying that my guns that I use, they use too much pressure, and that if I can do some videos with guns that don't take a lot of pressure, and I kind of just brushed that stuff off. I just, you know, said, okay, I'll check into it, but I really ain't had too much plan to check into it. But now it's like I'm getting more and more of it. I guess as the channel grows, you know, the guys that are working from home doing this stuff in your garages and stuff, you guys want to know. So what I'm gonna do, man, um, this gun here, this is what they've been asking me about, really. The Aero Pro Model 8610. And I don't really know much about these guns. Um, it's a 1.3 tip on there. And um, so again, I don't know much about it, so I really can't just you know, spit it to you fluently like I do with the other stuff, because the other stuff I know, you know, front to back, man. But um, so what I did, I reached out to my boy UPK, Underground Paint King, salute. Uh, first off, I reached out to him to get his blessing to go ahead and even tap into this here, because this is his lane. He's the godfather of all this small compressor, you know, low CFM guns, you know what I'm saying? I stick to what I do. He told me, go ahead, Trigger Man, you can do that. But he told me, he said, Trigger, if you're gonna do these guns, he said, don't, don't deceive the people like, um, you know, using the big shock compressors, you know, we got the big, the big, huge, you know, 80 gallon. As a matter of fact, let me show you guys. The big, huge compressor, man. Let me show you guys. Hold up. Yeah, we got them real big 80 gallon compressor. Man, you could push anything with them. In fact, here go one here. That's one of them. And um, so, yeah, basically, if you use those low CFM guns and you're using a big compressor, this is the way he explained it to me now, UPK, that really, you can, get the, you can get those guns to do anything if you got a real big, huge compressor. See here, there's one, two, three. So we got all those, plus the one there. And then there's another one in the other building where we prep the cars. So four big 80 gallon compressors. So basically the way he broke it down to me, it was like, Trigger, you know, you can use those guns on those big compressors and it'll make any job look good, you know, but you gotta show them with a small compressor. So I'm like, how the hell am I gonna use a small compressor, man? I said, that's what we got at the shop, so that's what I show, you know? So we got a small compressor, we got big compressors, so that's all I really got. So what I did, man, I went ahead and went into my storage, my shed at my property, and I went ahead and pulled this out, man. I went ahead and pulled this out for you guys. And if you see here, See these screws all rusty? Man, this thing been sitting up for so long. And what this is, is a 200 PSI, 5.0 CFM, 1.6 horsepower, and 4.5 gallon. And then um, this here, this motor guard, it's a motor guard filter. Um, I actually saw this on another one of UPK's channels. I'll try to link it, see if I can link to his channel that I watched. Um, you know, and that's, that's plugged into the air compressor, goes into here, and then the airline comes out. So that's the way I rigged this thing up. I said, hopefully it'll work. Hopefully you guys appreciate, you know, all this stuff, because it was a pain, man, toting all this in. I went and bought the, the filter yesterday, and even boarded it up. I screwed it to this two by four, and then I used some big heavy duty zip ties, and it's like, it's on there, man, you know? Again, it's just something I just rigged up yesterday, you know. So, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna do the um, gonna do the video. Let's spray this here, 
the Aero Pro, Aero Pro. Paint code 191 on this Mercedes. It's not a straight black, it has a little bit of um, metallic in it. So it has some metallic. And we're gonna see. But I'm gonna tell you guys straight up right now, if something goes wrong, you know, if the compressor doesn't, if this don't hold up or whatever, you know, I'm gonna switch this over to my regular compressor. You know, I'm gonna try it. This is the first run with it. You know, I didn't, like I did, a, I didn't do a test run and try to see how it works and then come and film it. I'm actually doing this first test run live with you guys. So if something don't go right, you know, I'm gonna jump over and I'm gonna put it on my regular airline, you know, my regular airline here. I have to put it on there and get the job done and then we'll play around with it later. So anyway, I'm gonna go mask up, mix up, and we're gonna get to it. Boop. And then wouldn't you know it, man, right off the bat, two problems here. First, the air compressor is leaking. Once I hooked it all up, it's leaking. I couldn't even adjust it. It's leaking from right there, the air regulator, the little relief hole that's there. It's leaking out of there. And I mean, it's leaking rapidly. So, and then I find out after I plug everything in, my microphone's not working. So right there, I'm talking to you guys and explaining, but my um, the microphone wasn't working. So, yeah, it was just one of those days, man. Sometime I walk in the booth and we knock it out the park. Yeah, I was pissed right there, man. I was cussing and everything. Yeah, sometimes walk in the booth and knock them out the park, and then other times, it's just something like this, man. One of those days. Nigga, okay, yeah, I was I was mad, man. <laughs> I was mad. But the show must go on. So I went ahead, hooked it up. And it's still leaking. And as you see, when the compressor's full, like it's doing a good job. I mean, it was breaking that stuff down. It was atomizing it, breaking up the paint real good. I mean, everything was going smooth, man putting on the sealer no problem but that compressor is leaking at a fast rate I mean it's pouring out of that little hole so I did end up fixing that though I ordered the part I ordered the part right after this oh yeah the water splashed up from that raggedy hose I got that's the old hose that I had in my storage with the compressor and you see it has all those kinks in it so actually by the time I'm doing this voiceover, I fixed the air compressor, I bought new seals, I fixed the air compressor, and I got a new hose. So I was unprepared. I was just trying to get in there and get you guys something, man. But um, the very next video, everything will be dialed in. Everything will be dialed in. But yeah, so that compressor was just running. It was running nonstop. Running non-stop. Now I'm going with the base. And I'm spraying the base. Well, I'm trying to spray the base at about 35 psi. But it was dropping down. I mean 20 psi, 15, 10 psi. It was dropping low, man. But again, I'm just still surprised that it's it was even doing this good off of that little compressor that didn't even have no air in it, you know what I mean? So, it was pretty good. I'm actually looking forward to seeing what this gun can really do when the compressor's working, so. We got a few things at the shop now I'm working on, and hopefully I'll get one up by the weekend for you guys. See right there? Zero. I mean, it's tall, and I'm just trying to mess around with the gun, see if I can get something going. That's zero, that's no pressure. Poor atomization, barely even breaking up the paint. I mean, the gauge red zero. There's nothing on that gauge. And I'm just saying, like, what? See that first gauge there? That first, that first gauge to the left. That's the air that's actually in the tank. No adjustment, man. Nothing. See how it's going on. It's going on purely, not atomized properly. But me being hard head, I'm still trying to go ahead and just get it on there, get something going. You know, I always feel like I can turn feathers into hot wings. 
oh that was one one zero 10 psi spraying at 10 psi right now man. even for 10 psi that still is not horrible you know what i mean <laughs> 10 psi still was getting it out you see when that when it's when it's charged when that when that tank is full like it's good i mean the pressure's there atomization is there it's doing it so i'm looking forward to seeing when the compressor's working what's it really going to be like you know what i mean that's what trigger man what are you doing with that little old tiny compressor there man what the hell you expect to paint with that man you gotta be kidding me man you got that little old compressor <laughs> that thing look like it's made to spun a nail gun a nail gun or something man you paint the damn car with that little thing. Man, you got five, five eighty gallon compressors out there. That's what, 400 gallons? And you're in here playing around with 4.5 gallon? Man, Trigger Boy, man, sometimes you do some of the stupid stuff, Trigger, man. I don't know why I bother sometimes, man. I don't know why I bother. Small compressor, you got no paint suit. Using all these little cheap man, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what direction you're trying to take this channel, man. But man, you, you, I don't know, man. <laughs> More power to you, man. But anyway, that's for all that stupid stuff you're doing, trigger. You know, man. Unsubscribe. Okay, and right here is where the pressure is really starting to run out. I mean, it's, it seems like it's leaking faster and faster out of that compressor. But had it not been for that, man, this thing would have really did something serious. But it was doing good. But this is where it's just starting to run down. It's just like really running down. 20 PSI. And I'm trying to turn, I'm trying to open everything up, man. But I couldn't do it, man. I couldn't do it. There wasn't nothing to be done. <laughs> that rate I should have took the hose off and started blowing through the gun man because that thing wasn't doing nothing nada yeah man so finally I said screw it I had to go ahead and hook up the big boy I hooked up the big boy I tried man I tried we're gonna get it together on the next one man I'm gonna really see what this little tiny compressor can do. And I got another LVLP gun too I'm gonna try. So I got a few things in store, man, we're gonna try out. I'm doing it for you guys, man. This wasn't really wasn't the direction I planned to go, but you know, enough people asking, and I'll do it, man. You know. There we go. Now we're spraying at 40 psi. Yeah, it's wide open. It's doing its thing now. <clears throat> now I get to see the real potential of it. And for some reason, that 40 PSI is where it seems like it's ideal for me. I, mean, I still got to play with it some more. But just off the first take of it, you know, I, I pumped it up 40 PSI. And I got the full 40. That's when I can tell it was, it was performing well. Usually with my guns, I can tell the pressure when it's spraying right where it needs to be by sound by feeling it and even though there's a gauge on there i mean my first time spraying a gun you know my first time spraying it like with the vivor gun my first time spraying it i felt it at 30 psi before i even sprayed it that's why i set the gun at 30 because i can tell you know and um i can tell with this one at 40 that's optimal Four zero, forty 40 psi and again that's just for my material in the booth, uh, my temperature, you know, my spring style, uh, the finish that I want, you know, a lot of different things come into play with that. That's not 40 PSI universal for everybody, for every case, because every case is different. But yeah, I like the gun. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some fun with it. We're gonna play around with it. We're gonna play around with it. Shout out to my boy UPK, Underground Paint King. If you ain't heard of him, go check him out. UPK. 
Yeah, that's the godfather of all this here, man. Small compressor. You know, you home guys working from home. Anything you need to know, go check them out. That's who I had to check out. You guys was asking me. I was clueless. <laughs> I had to go check them out. So if you can help old Trigger, he sure enough can help you. And also with that little motor guard, that filter on there, like no water was coming out of there. Usually when I use this, that little compressor, you know, that's for my projects around my house, nail gun. One time I changed my flooring, you know, I put a chipper, chipper on there and, um, you know, chip out concrete, like stuff like that. But it always had water, like I would always get water coming out. So no water was coming out of that paint gun at all with that little setup with that motor guard thingy there. So that was pretty cool. I always had to use those little filters that you put before the gun. They look orange and blue and little water separator things. But that worked, man. It worked like a charm. It worked like a charm. But yeah, finishing up here. Yeah, this gun, it, it does its thing, man. It does its thing. Nice, nice fan on it. A little bit on the slower side. But that's not a bad thing. It's faster than the DV-1, <laughs> I tell you that. It's faster than that damn $800 spray gun, I tell you that. You dig? All right, all right, got it done, we got it done. Boy, that was a close one, boy. That was a close one. That was a close one, but yeah, we got it done, we got it done. That's what we looking like, that's what we looking like, though. That's what we looking like, though. That's what we looking like, though. A little dirt, a little few specks of dirt. We got some dirt in this one, but I'll tell you like it is, but we got some dirt in this one. We got some dirt. There's probably about 12 pieces right up in there. See all that dirt up in there? That might have been from this damn mirror. Came out good, looking good. It's looking good. Yeah. But yeah, I tried with the mirror, man. That's just. Getting the, getting the door handle out, you guys know I take all this stuff off myself, man. So getting the door handle out, worrying about the mirror, then I'm putting together this damn compressor. Go we'll get all these straps and stuff, and mounting this sucker up and rigging up this here, this little whip there, man. I've been busting my, I mean, busting my behind. Man, my bad on the mirror, man. Cut me some slack, cut me some slack. Cut me some slack. Hey, but um, yeah, so the gun, Decent gun, man. Decent gun. I like it. Trigger man like it. Trigger man like it. Trigger man like it. Like it. Yeah. Well built. You can tell it's well built. Either that or it's just heavy. But uh, I think it's well built gun. Um, and I didn't. Usually I engrave because this doesn't have any markings to indicate where you where you're adjusting it. So usually I engrave it. But I took a black marker and put it on there because I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it or not. You know, Amazon give me 30 days to return it. So once I decide I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to it, I'll go ahead and put a little engraved mark on it so I can see where I'm going with it. So actually what I did, my settings, my settings were um, fluid all the way out, holding the trigger tight, lightly turn, turn, turn until it hits. Once it hits, let go and two and a half turns, two and a half turns in and that was my settings. And then 40 PSI for me was ideal. With this gun here, my temperature in here, the materials I use, and um, the finish that I like, 40 PSI, regardless of the compressor. Small compressor, big compressor, medium, blow, however you get the air, 40 PSI is ideal. Um, I didn't quite get the finish that I like with it, and that's only because you know I started off with that other compressor, and the pressure kept dropping all the way down to 10 PSI while I was painting, 10 PSI. That's not enough air pressure to atomize the paint. So from the sealer to the base to clear, if any one of those coatings has poor atomization, like larger droplets on the panel, it's gonna affect you all the way out, you know? So whenever you're going for a flat paint job or whatever texture you want, you gotta get that from your first coat, your very first coat of sealer or whatever you put down first, every coat, every coat has to have that. So, I mean, it's still not horrible considering that, 
I really, I expected a whole lot of orange peel in this because it dropped down that low. But it's still pretty good. It still did pretty good. I think the gun definitely got potential, man. So the next job, so that's the, the, obviously the small compressor is gonna be down for a couple days. I ordered the part for it. Um, Amazon said it'll be here tomorrow. So I don't even know if I can fix it. I mean, I'll try it. If not, I'll just get the whole manifold and just put that on there. But I'm gonna try to fix just that one issue there. And then we'll do that. But for now, the next job I do, I'll go ahead and do the whole job with the big air compressor and just see what it does. And then once I get that going, we'll put on a little small, you know, a little small air compressor like that. And it definitely seemed like it had the potential because it was it was off to a good start, man. When the when the thing is full, it was doing pretty good. It's just the compressor's leaking air, plus this is wasting the air, and it don't stand a chance, you know what I'm saying? But it was a cool, it was interesting. It was still an interesting job, I must say. But yeah, man, so that's a wrap. We'll catch y'all in the next one. Your boy Trigger Man, signing out. Boop. Okay, here's where I got the compressor all torn apart. And this is the piece here. That little piece right there, the air regulator. And it actually worked. I got it fixed. I couldn't believe it, man. Part came in, I popped it in. It's holding there. So we back to business, man. But anyway, your boy Trigger signing off. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, tell a friend. And please tell his girlfriend. Peace.